the cover-up idea is still an issue. This means that even though it's possible to always wear straight hair and not have issues about self-identity, I don't believe that the 90 plus percent of people who do this don't have issues. I think that a large percent of us do have issues. Do you think our women have a problem about their hair? Yes, I do. Do you think we have a problem as black women or do you think we're okay? Think Chris I think, Rock exaggerated or do you think? No, I think Chris Rock actually finally sh shed light on the truth about yep. the situation because I still hear all the time good hair, bad hair, about little kids, old people. And it's because we have issues about our natural hair that relaxed hair and weaves and extensions represent a cover-up. It's not the thing in itself because we have just an amazing tradition of braiding artistry coming from West Africa. Um, there's a lot of fun in weaves and wigs and things like that, but that's not why we do it. We do it because we can't face what's underneath. When I hear women say that, you know, I can choose to wear my hair permed or I can choose to wear my hair this way or that way because I have all of these options, um, that's the line I used before I made a decision about what was um, fulfilling, what... It's a journey, I think, and when you're in that journey, you look for any excuse or rationalization of why you're doing what you're doing, and that's exactly what I did. I said, well, I can wear my hair permed, or I can wear my hair braided, because I hadn't gotten to that ultimate choice of going full out and, and wearing my natural hair. We allow ourselves to be locked into silence about our hair because of the history of our hair representing everything but what's wonderful about us. And so we want to pretend that we're okay. We want to pretend that if we wear the weave or the wig, you know, the naps aren't going to come out and peek out. We want to pretend that we really do have this long hair, you know, for everybody who doesn't know. She me. had just gotten her hair done. And when she got back from that sea air, um, her hair was puffy. You know, the first thing she said to me when she hit the door, get out the straightening comb. She said, I can't go back to school with my hair looking like this. Now, what was she talking to? As a black man, they're like, you know, three things I don't talk to black women about. You know, my credit, <laughs> dating white women, <laughs> and is that a weed? <laughs> just, just don't go there. When, he, when Chris Rock was trying to sell natural hair, and nobody would buy it because they said it's no good. It wasn't what they wanted. They wanted straight hair. Towards the end, when he was interviewing, I think it was five or six young women. Yes. And one of them said that to have a natural with a suit on contradicted, it was a contradiction. And I think that's when my stomach went, it started to hurt because they were so young. And I thought we had gotten past that. You know, adornment, colors, styles and certainly hair, especially when it comes to black people, that hair is saying something. And sometimes it's deliberate, sometimes it's by mistake, but people are picking up on that. And even today, it makes a big difference. The choices that we make make a big difference in the options that are open to us, how we relate in relationships, what our kids think of us, whether or not we ever see anybody that looks like us on TV, all of those things. My sister, she has to have her hair always natural. She never wears a weave, and I've never, at least I've never seen her with a weave in her hair. I actually admire her for that, because I know a lot of women that just, they prefer to have the weave because they're not confident with their natural hair, and she's, she's a woman that I, that I see that's very confident in herself and in her way her hair is styled. I don't have pleasant memories of the hot comb. I was very, very happy to have my hair um, straightened chemically until I began to realize that my hair was getting weaker, 
uh, it was uh, very straw-like, it wasn't, um, it had no, um, how can I say, no body, uh, no shine, I mean I was having to put products on it to get the shiny healthy look that I wanted and um, I thought, you know, this just isn't working for me anymore. Uh, I'm going to have to go back uh, to my roots, back to natural hair. Well, I can start off with this one since I do have braids in now. And I don't want to be put in a category to everybody else. I like to stand out on my own. And it's just, it, it kind of persuaded me um, to, to kind of, you know, do what I always w wanted to do, which was to go natural. That's why when people say, well, you know, I just... I just like to change my hair or I just, it doesn't really have any, it's not me. Even the India Ari's song that she made a couple of years ago, you know, I am not my hair. On some level, you are your hair. You are the statements that you're making because they reflect to a significant degree what you think you're saying about yourself. You attract to you who you are. And for so many years with the straight hair, I'm attracting people who have a very different perception of who I am because of what they see. But with the natural hair, I'm attracting truly the person that is coming to me that will appreciate who I am. Um, I would probably never go back to any of those. I will probably keep locks and natural hair for the rest of my life. Well, I know my hair was never an issue. Um, till one day I was driving on the freeway and I just had the locks put in. And you know how there are flies or fruit flies around and you go like this? So I'm driving along and I'm seeing something go like this and I'm going like, then I realized it was my actual hair blowing in the wind and it blew me, it blew me away. I stopped, got off the freeway, called Joanne and said, hey, you know, I was driving and my hair was going like this. And so it was really like a revelation for me. And going, to, going through, you know, being so close to sister locks, Watching these women transition from what they were when they came in the door and when they got their locks, light-skinned, dark-skinned, big, small, it was just this transformation. Mm -hmm. So I kind of went through that when I got my locks because my hair has a lot of power. <laughs>